Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the local variables and global variables in shell scripting. So first let me explain the syntax and what is the difference between the local and variable lo global variables and then I will demonstrate the same by executing a small program. So here the variables can be of two categories. One is local, another one is global. So all the local variables are used to define with the help of a local keyword with the help of local keyword so if you are not specifying any keyword then automatically it will be a global so by default by default all the variables will be of global so what is the difference between this global and local so the main difference is a scope so if it is a global variable so that can be used anywhere in the program used anywhere in program so inside the function and outside the function so if it is a local variable that can be used only within the function within the function in which we have defined so that is the main difference between the local and a global variable so if you are initializing any variable that will be by default it will be a global variable so all the variables in shell scripting will be the global variables unless you use the local keyword before initializing the value right for example a is equal to 10 this will be the global variable global variable if you want to make this one as a local variable you need to initialize like local a is equal to 100 or 10 so this will be the local variable so this will be the global variable right so if if the function is having i mean the local and global variables are having the same value then the first preference will be given to the local variables itself so i will demonstrate everything by executing a program now let us open the terminal and i will execute the program and so that uh, still if you are having any doubts all the doubts will be clarified now let us uh, write the function so vi local underscore global my file name is local underscore global dot sh so move with the insert mode so i will write one function so function display or increment increment and here i, I just want to increment the value so i'll take some a a is equal to dollar dollar a plus one right and if you are just print this one echo dollar a so here increment 10 right now so I, i'll just print dollar a here sorry I will, I will print the dollar a here so okay echo dollar a so here we'll write outside function dollar a right so save this one and give the permissions execute permissions so local underscore global dot sh now execute by using dot slash local underscore global dot sh so you can see the value is one and outside function is one but we have given some 10 right yes so before taking this one see you need to pass the value a is equal to dollar one because in the previous session we have discussed about this one how can we pass the parameters to the function so all the parameters will be stored in dollar one dollar two dollar three and so on so if it is dollar one now a value will be having 10 and if it, it will be updated and it will be printed now you can see execute so 11 and 11 outside the function it is 11 so here you can observe 
inside the function we are updating the value inside the function we are updating the value and that was reflected in the outside of the function itself now now see i will declare the same variable with a local keyword local right now let us check execute the same see there is no value printed here there is no value printed here outside the function because here we have declared the a as a local so that cannot be accessed outside the function so that cannot be accessed outside the function so now for example if you consider one more thing that means here i will take a is equal to 100 a is equal to 100 right now you can observe here we are passing this 10 to a which is a local variable so that the local variable will be having a 10 it can it can't be accessed outside the function but here we are declaring a is equal to 100 which is outside the function and this value will be taken here itself see now if you execute you will get the outside function a value as 100 so inside the function a value is 11 right so now take this local also now we can check see 11 and 11 11 and 11 so here you can observe a we are declaring as 100 and here we are passing a value to a which is nothing but a 10 right and that was incremented and a value holds 11 now a value holds 11 now right okay so now you can observe the difference i will just print here echo inside function dollar a so before printing this one we are not assigning a value to this particular a right so this is a sequential execution first this will be get executed right this will be ex get executed so here we don't know the value of a because in this position the second line we have written some a is equal to dollar one so that the 10 will be stored in a in the second line not in the first line now let us observe the execution see inside the function 100 11 and outside the function 11 so what it means so initially a is equal to 100 so a will be considered as a local variable global variable so inside the function we are printing a so a holds 100 because it's a global variable and coming to the second line we are passing the value to this particular a from the parameter right so 10 will be stored in a so a will be having the incremented value and the incremented value will be printed now a holds the value 11 so that's why outside the function also we are getting the 11 itself right now hope you understood this one and uh, instead of passing the parameter now we'll see uh, giving the same name for both the local and the global variables so i will take a uh, 10 i will consider it as a local local a is equal to 10 right now let us check execute so inside the function 100 11 and outside the function 100 you can see inside the function 100 and a is 11 here after updation and outside the function is also 100 see outside the function is also 100 right why because why because outside the function a holds the global variable and here it is a local variable this variable can't be accessed outside the function right so this function can't be out, accessed outside the function so outside the function it still has had the global variable 100 so this is a local variable so we can't access we can't use this local variable outside the function so hope you understood this one right the difference between the local variable and the global variable so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this local and global variables feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much